Question 12. Vectors A, B, and C are represented on the following grid. You can see them. So B is not clear now. So let me draw it so that you can see it. So that is uh, B. Then the questions on the following grid represent the resultant vector A plus B. Then B, the resultant vector A plus B plus C. So let's begin with A plus B, the first one. So in vectors, direction is very important. And uh, just to write vector A in column vector showing the displacement both in the x and the y axis. So vector A, look at the direction. If you write this one in column form, the displacement horizontally, that is the x-axis, that is to the right. So beginning from here, you can see this is the displacement of, this is a 2. These are 2 squares to the right, positive. So that is 2. Then the y-axis upwards, upwards, we have 1, 2, 3. So if we write this one in column form, that is vector A, will be given by 2 squares displacement to the right. That will be 2. Then upwards positive on the y-axis, there are 3 squares. So that is 2, 3. For B, B, look at the starting point. Uh, just uh, 2 squares displacement to the right, the x-axis, that will be positive. So this is just uh, 2 squares so this will be 2. Then on the y-axis, none. There's no displacement because you can see the line is horizontal. There's no y-displacement. For C, starting point is there. So displacement to the right, those are 2 squares. Then this one is very important. Then displacement to the y-axis is downwards, so that will be negative 2. So when you write that one in column form, it will be 2, negative 2. This will be very important as we add. Now from there, let me just use uh, this uh, grid here instead of using the other one to avoid repeating A and B and C. So now we want to add uh, A plus B. So let me, B is there, but very clear. So A plus B. So we look at A. The starting point of A is here. The end point is here. So at the end point, that is where we are supposed to add B. So from here, end point, just 2. B is 2 squares displacement on the, on the x axis. No y displacement. So 2 squares like that. So that is B. So the end point is here. Once you've done that, to get A plus B, the starting point of A, join the starting point of A to the end point of B, just like that. And then looking at the direction of vector A, vector A plus B, should head in that direction as well. So this now is A plus B. As simple as that. Now after doing that, uh, that is the first part. The second part is uh, the resonant vector A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C. So we need to get A plus B. A plus B. The displacement, A plus B. Look at the displacement, the x-axis to the right, A plus B. Those are 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are 4, be given by 4 squares to the right. This is the displacement in the x-axis. Then upwards on the y-axis, these are 1, 2, 3 squares. So that will be given by column vector 4, 3, 4, 3. That is A plus B, given by that column vector 4, 3. Now after doing that, now we take A plus B. B, I can... Write this one, you can draw this one down here. Uh, A plus B given by 4, 3, 4, 3. So start from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That is a 4. Then 3. These are 4. Then 3, 1, 2, 3. Go up to there, 3. So this is how it will be. That is, uh, that is vector A plus B. 4 squares. 1, 2, 3. I think this one is not 4. Let me it again made a slight error there so for one two three four one two three four four then three and two three like that so you can see this displacement here the x-axis those are four squares that is four then upwards those are one two three the three that one is just for the purposes of explanation that is a vector a plus b so you can clear that now now we need to add c we need to add c and C is uh, negated by this. C is 2, negative 2. 2, negative 2. 2, negative 2. So the, at the end point, we count 2, that. 
the end point we count 2 then negative 2 is downwards is negative 2 so the vector will be represented by this one now this will be the vector c that will be vector c so displacement to the x axis the right is 2 then downwards on the y axis negative 2 so you don't require this one just for explanation so this is vector c so therefore a plus b plus c would be given by you join this like that You're using a ruler to do this of course then the direction is that so this is a plus b plus c and that is how you're supposed to solve that question